Welcome to Night Night, Bedtime Stories by Black Men. I'm happy that you're here today. We have a special book and a special reader named Tamar Green. Tamar played George Washington in one of my favorite musicals, Hamilton. Do you know who George Washington is? If you said George Washington was our first president of the United States, then you are right. George Washington was one of our presidents. And so he played him in my favorite musical, Hamilton. He's almost ready to read. But before we start, have you collected anything? Is there anything special that you like to collect? I used to collect baseball cards, basketball cards, and comic book cards. If you have anything that you'd like to collect, I'd like you to be thinking about what that thing is. And at the end of this, maybe you can share some of those with us. So if you're ready, let's get into our book. Let's go. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to see all these wonderful faces. How are you doing today? I am Tamar Green, and yes, I am an actor. I am in Hamilton. Actually, I play George Washington in Hamilton right now on Broadway. Um, and I wanted to come read for you all today this wonderful book. It's called The Word Collector. The Word Collector. And it is by Peter H. Reynolds. Actually, his name is Peter Hamilton Reynolds, actually. So, are you all ready? I would like to begin. So, reading, before I begin, actually, reading is something that I really enjoy to do, especially as an actor. We like to read a lot of different things when we're studying material or learning about our characters. Like, I play George Washington, so I read a lot of, like, history books, or just read for fun and learn new things because it really expands your brain. Um, so this one is really, was a really fun read for me because it really does also expand your brain a bunch. So this is The Word Collector. I hope you enjoy. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks, some collect art, some collect bugs, Ooh. others collect baseball cards, some people collect comic books. I actually used to collect comic books myself. Yeah, I want to see a couple of those things. So you got the, uh, the rocks here. I think that's really cool. Collecting the rocks, art, coins, stamps. See that? Bugs. If you collect bugs, that is awesome. <laughs> uh, the baseball cards and the comic books. So Jerome, what does he collect? Does anyone remember the name of the book? What do you think Jerome collects? Jerome collects words. Oh, there we go. Jerome collects words. So, he collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant, as he speaks to his friend from Peru. Certain words caught his attention. As you can see, he's writing down the word Peru that his friend just spoke. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped right out at him. See? Willow, he's writing down willow. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. He's reading The Wizard of Oz and he wrote down emerald. Yeah. 
short and sweet words. You see, it's got spark, bloom, drift, and dream. Two syllable treats, treasure, motif, whisper, candid, hover, and glimmer. Two syllable words, it means there are two sounds in the words. And multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs. Got big words here, multi-syllable words. Make sure you can see that, yeah? There you go. Multi-syllable words like kaleidoscope. Oh, there we go. That's a big one. Wonderful. Symphony. Guacamole. I had guacamole for dinner yesterday. And, and geometry. There it is. <laughs> geometry. Yeah, multi-syllable words. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic. Vociferous. Effervescent. These are hard ones. Really fun though, right? There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Got a nice little Tyrannosaurus Rex. Torrential, see the rain coming down there? Torrential, he's in a torrential storm. Smudge, like he just, smudge. <laughs> Bellow and molasses. Some fun words. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Take a look at that. That's really cool, isn't it? He's collecting all of his favorite words and putting them down in these books. Look at all these crazy words all around him. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. He's got all of these books. Look at him. He's so strong, too. Look, all of these books, all these words, books full of words, all different types. He's got Italian up here. He's got favorites. He's got some favorites. Action, mysterious, all kinds of books and words. He's strong, too. So one day, while transporting them, oh no, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. Look at him, oh no, all of his hard work. He went flying all over the place. So as he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. It's got blue harmony, silent orchestra, big words with small words, dream cloud, lots of fun words. Jerome began stringing words together. Words he had not imagined being side by side. Whisper, symphony, electric, peace, savor, dreams, cascading, and stars. See all these words? 
stringing them along, putting them all on that string. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. I'm all enjoying his songs and him writing poems over here. All while using his words, his new words. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. And you matter. Really simple words, but really powerful words. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. There he is. Doing it again, even though they all flew all over the place, he is making new books full of his favorite words. Harmony, bohemian, light, spice, molecule, that's a fun one, molecule, <laughs> peace, hugs. Everyone likes a hug once in a while, right? A lot of good words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. Look at all these words now. Look at that. See, it's climbing up this big hill. Jerome was very strong. <laughs> Look at all these words. He's got a big bag full of words. That's really awesome. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. Isn't that nice? It's beautiful picture, beautiful. I wonder what he was doing. Let's see. He saw children in the valley below, scurrying about, collecting words from the breeze. All these other children collecting all of these wonderful words that Jerome had worked on and learned, and he's sharing them all. See that? Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. There's no more words. And this I really enjoy. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better by Peter Hamilton Reynolds. And instead of the end, he finishes it with the beginning. The beginning. This can be the beginning of your journey to learn new words and find new ways to inspire people and to show these powerful little words, right? Like, I'm sorry, and you matter, and I understand words like empathy and things like that. So I want to inspire you all to learn words, read books, and absorb, just like little Jerome. Absorb all of these fun new words and see if you can find one that you really, really enjoy. Something that makes you laugh even. Read. That is Word Collector. Thank you for reading with us today. 
So what did you think of the book? I've never thought to collect words. Words are so very important. It's such a beautiful thing to collect. So did you think about anything that you collect? I'm sure whatever you collect, it is super special. And I hope that it gives you lots of inspiration and it gives you great, a great deal of comfort. I know my collections did that for me. So until next time, I'm going to say night, night, and I will see you next Wednesday. Hopefully I get to see you live. Good night.